The uh, March Domes is a nonprofit organization that has been around for over 75 years now. And uh, the main purpose or mission of the March of Domes is to end premature birth or um, babies with birth defects as well. Um, we do that by uh, raising money, um, issuing grants throughout the, uh, the country. Um, last year, actually in 2013, over $4 million was issued in North Carolina in grants. Um, we also do that uh, through education. And the uh, March of Babies is an uh, annual walk that we do here um, that's actually a nationwide walk. And um, it's going to be April 11th at 9 o'clock at Methodist University. It is where companies, organizations, and families can uh, form teams and help raise money through the March of Dimes by uh, we're walking. We do a three mile walk. and. There is not a fee to walk, so anyone can walk for support. Um, you know, a lot of times it's uh, families who were affected by some, um, a premature birth or um, maybe their child had a birth defect and they're helping raise money for the cause of that. Uh, but it doesn't have to be. You could just raise money for the, um, be walking to help raise money for the cause itself. The March for Babies is a really feel-good event. Um, I've done it. This will be my uh, fourth walk that I've done and have really enjoyed it. It's been something very special to me and my family and uh, really um, it's a really great day. It's uh, We have the walk, we have music, we have food, lots of entertainment. So it's a really great day for the whole family. March of Dimes has been something very special to me. Um, the uh, Three years ago actually today I had um, twins who were born, um, two girls that were born prematurely and shortly after passed away. And um, during that time that we were in, in the hospital experiencing that, um, we uh, came across um, March of Dimes actually just doing some research on certain things that they were going through and then found out about the walk and shortly after that we got involved in the walk that year and were able to raise um, a lot of money um, through our family here in town and in the Washington DC area we were able to raise over thirty thousand dollars that first year for March of Dimes and it's been great to see the progress that um, the medical advances just in that short time that March of Dimes has been very very involved in helping. Um, we've, we certainly saw, between our two different hospital trips, saw um, some great advances in technology and in the medical field. I, I like the, uh, the walk um, for a couple of reasons. Um, you, you, you do see some people uh, that you meet every single year and um, they come back and um, it's nice to be able to, as someone who has uh, lost um, twins, uh, due to premature birth and have now have uh, twins who were born premature but have a very healthy life. Um, it's nice to be able to associate with some of the other people that have gone through some of the same things that, that um, me and my wife and my family have gone through. So it's a very, very uplifting for me. There are several ways you can support the March of Dimes through, uh, of course, the walk. Um, in the fall, or actually in November this year, we're going to have our signature chef's auction, which is a, a wonderful event to uh, be able to taste some great foods from around Fayetteville. And uh, we have an um, advocacy day um, uh, coming up soon. Um, we have several volunteer opportunities throughout the year to help with uh, March of Dimes. The March of Dimes is a mission that's very close to my, my family's heart. I was born at one pound and 15 ounces, and so I'm a true March of Dimes miracle baby. And the March of Dimes, if it weren't for this organization, I really don't know that I would be able to be here in front of you today. So my family and I have been supportive since I was five. And when I got a little bit older, I started to volunteer with the March of Dimes Foundation. Did that throughout college. And then when I moved back to Fayetteville after college, I began volunteering here with the Cape Fear Division. So the March of Dimes has been threaded into my and my family's lives since, since birth. It's really important to me personally that the community comes together on April 11th for the Fayetteville March for Babies because it's a time where we can all celebrate those that were born too soon but yet are still here with us, such as myself, and it's a time where we can honor those that unfortunately have lost the fight. And it's also a time where we can share more about the mission. We can get more awareness out there about the prevalency of preterm birth. And so that's what we really would like to see the community come together for is to celebrate our babies and to continue advocating for healthy pregnancies.
The research of the March of Dimes is the reason why I have these two guys. Both of them got surfactant treatment when they were born because she was born at 33 weeks and he was born at 24 weeks. So they both had that surfactant and they were both on CPAPs and in the hospital for a long time. And because of the research of the March of Dimes, I have these two guys.